Hey coach, so happy you enjoyed the video. Make sure you subscribe and like. Go over and check out teachhoops.com for coaches who want to get better. Hey everybody, um, I'm just putting up an old webinar. Sorry about the quality here in my nose and all that kind of stuff. Uh, just enjoy. It's an old webinar. It's like a two or three year old webinar that I did answering questions. Uh, and make sure you check out teachhoops.com up here on the top uh, or down here on the bottom somewhere. It's uh, for coaches who want to get better. So sorry for the, the quality of this. Just trying to get it out as, as quickly as I can and don't have my mic or I'm not in my studio. And that's why my nose has a reflection on it as I move back and forth. But www.teachhoops.com. I think you'll enjoy it. Thank you. I think the best way to teach the game of basketball is one-on-one, -on -one, two-on-two, and three-on-three. -on -three. So what we're going to do here is we're going to kind of go through a bunch of one-on-one -on -one games. This is our first one called a spin back or, or curl back or whatever you want to call it. Um, so two guys under the basket. You're going to jog out to the, about the three-point line. You're going to spin it back to yourself real slow-mo here. You're going to gather it, okay, square up, and then you get one dribble at that point. Um, after the one dribble, we're done. So you better take a good shot at that point, and then it's basically one-on-one. -on -one. So let's do a couple of these live, and then I can talk about some things that will happen with this. So good square up, and the reason I like it, and again, it will depend on the age of the, keep, keep playing guys, it, it depends on the age of the players. If you're dealing with a fourth or fifth grader, you're gonna wanna add more dribbles. Um, you're gonna wanna extend the rules on this. It's just a great way to start one-on-one -on -one rather than checking in on top. Uh, maybe two dribbles, maybe only shots um, inside the three-point line, maybe only shots in the paint. Uh, maybe only going with your left hand. So any of those variations, especially with this game, is a really good thing. But I like, especially at the late junior high and the high school level, one dribble. Um, so this is our curl back one-on-one -on -one drill. One-on-one -on -one post moves. Um, we don't have two power forwards here, but centers. Yeah, every guard wants to be a center, every, guard, every center wants to be a guard. So what, this is gonna be a basic one-on-one, -on -one, but it's a good one. Especially with your big post, you can maybe vary it up a little bit and let them do one or two dribbles. But what you're gonna do is you can be on the top, ha the first hash there, yep. And you're gonna spin it to yourself, and then you're gonna square up, no dribbles. So you can do whatever you want. Um, you know, if you let them vary a little bit, maybe let them have one dribble, go ahead. Yep, so square. No dribbles. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to create a difficult situation, a situation in which, gosh, I got the ball in the post, I'm getting swarmed, I'm not, this is not, this is not an easy occurrence for me. Again, you're gonna have two of them going at the same time, so if you only have four baskets, you still have eight kids doing this drill at any one, at any one given time, but um, I call this our post one-on-one -on -one drill. Sideline one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, this is a great drill. You can do it again on both ends of the court. Put the ball at the free throw line. You have an offensive player, hopefully an offensive player, facing the basket, a defender facing the ball. Um, and here's, the, here's how this works. The offensive player, in this case Reggie, is going to decide which sideline he wants to go to. Hold on. So Reggie decided to go that way. So Ant will go that way. Okay, they must put their foot and hand on the sideline, then they're coming back and trying to get the ball. Now, I like this drill in the sense that if Ant can get back and get the ball, he gets to go on offense. Most of the time, I would say about 90% of the time, the guy that decides or is on offense will get there first because he knows which way he's going. The defender does. So one-on-one -on -one sideline. Let's see how this looks. Good, now switch around. Great conditioning, fast movements. Unlim unlimited dribbles is usually what I let them have on this. We'll do one more. Um, don't run me, oh, I'm in your way. Oh, the defender got it. And he fell down and he traveled. So, but it's a great drill. Um, I think it was like steal the bacon or something we used to play as kids or when they put the little thing in the middle and the teacher would call it the numbers. It's a similar premise. Great drill in the sense it's got to move in. Um, you know, the defense has to attack. The offense has to attack. Um, so one-on-one -on -one sideline. 
on one half court. Very simple game. One person under the basket with the ball, another person at half court. Um, going to be on offense. Drew is going to, we're going to do the slow mo. You're going to throw the ball to Reggie. It can be a bounce pass, it can be a chess pass, it can be a baseball pass. It's got to be in the vicinity that he can catch it. If you throw it halfway down the court, it doesn't count. You have to rethrow it. So Drew's going to throw it to him. Okay, he, as soon as he catches it, he gets four dribbles. Drew is going to come out and hopefully contest a little bit harder than that. Okay, so do that one more time. Same group. So half court, one on one. So you want to throw it hard and then you want to follow the ball as fast as you can. Good. One, two, three, and good finish. Okay, so I can't, we're, we're really trying to put the offense four dribbles, three or four dribbles. The higher up, less dribbles. Drew might have to. Drew might have to um, have more dribbles. You know, he's going into eighth grade. You know, um, so it just depends on the age level. But you only get four dribbles. And a great way to learn the game. How often are you on fast break and you're having to come out and defend? How often are you the last line of defense on the fast break? You better be able to stop this guy. Let um, him have a layup like that. Well, he missed it, though. One-on-one, -on -one, half court. One-on-one, -on -one, three-quarters court. Great game. Um, what's going to happen is Drew is going to toss the ball. We'll do a slow motion here. And then here's the rules. The rules are unlimited dribbles. You're going to score on that basket down there. Okay, so three-quarters court, one-on-one, -on -one, unlimited dribbles. The only caveat is you have to score in five seconds. So usually I have two games going on at the same time or I'm counting it down. Players will kind of know what's going on with this. So three quarter court, one on one. So we can give it back to Drew and let him check and then as soon as you get it, I'm starting to count. Ready? Yep, then just go. Ready? Go. Five, four, three, two, one. So that's what we don't want to happen. We don't want to give a layup up. We want to make them shoot a jump shot and make them turn because five seconds can go really fast. All right, so he's gonna check it here. As soon as he gets it, I'm gonna start counting. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. So we're trying to teach them a sense of urgency when you have a one-on-one. -on -one. We're trying to teach them to go fast, but not fast. Um, go ahead. Five, four, three, two, one. Nah. Close. Okay, so again, you, you, they, there's a sense of, oh my gosh, I'm running out of time, I gotta get this shot off. That's what it always feels like when you're on a fast break. All right, last one. Five, four, three, two, one. And after you run this a while with your teams, you'll really notice that they, uh, they do a great job of not um, giving layups. Uh, my guys, after we've run this a couple times, you guys can keep going, is that we don't tend to give layups up. We tend to make them uh, have to shoot jump shots. So one on one, three quarter court. Hey coach, so excited you found us on YouTube. Uh, make sure you subscribe and like. Second thing is make sure you go over and check out teachhoops.com for coaches who want to get better. We, we have one on one calls, community, it's resources, it's everything that it will take to become a better basketball coach. Less time, win more games. Let me help you do that from someone that's been a nationally ranked coach and done it for 30 plus years. Go over and check it out, teachhoops.com. Let's head off to the video.